Chef Buck here, and today we're going to talk about onions. I got all the onions that you're ever going to need in your whole life. These are the four onions that you see in the supermarket that you generally have to decide which one you want to buy to use for whatever you're making. Although, you really don't have to think about it because this is really the only thing you need. This is a yellow onion or a brown onion or the most popular onion on the planet. And this is usually the cheapest onion that you'll see in the store. And this here is good for everything. This is your workhorse onion. This is the onion. This is the ultimate onion. I like green onions. This is the most popular onion that I buy. This is the second most popular onion that I buy. This is the third most popular onion, and this is a white onion. This here is a sweet onion, and this is the second onion that I generally buy. Now look at this, see how dimpled this is? That's because it's old. All of these onions are old. I bought these onions about a month ago because I was going to make this video, but they've just been sitting around. I haven't gotten around to this video. But of all the onions, this one here is holding up the poorest. This here is the most perishable. And it is a lot like the yellow onion. They're interchangeable, really. This one is a little more sulfurous. This is a little sweeter. You know, it's called a sweet onion. You'll read something that says sweet onions are so sweet you can eat them like an apple. Well, hey, knock yourself out. But this isn't an apple. A lot of times they're more noticeably different. Here they're both kind of roundish. Sometimes you'll see them, they're very oval shaped, almost like a flying saucer. And a sweet onion might see it as a Vidalia onion, a Maui onion. You know, a lot of times the sweet onions are named after the region that they're from. But sometimes I'll buy a sweet onion because sometimes they're on sale and they'll actually be a better price than this one. And that's when I'll buy this one. Otherwise, I don't. But you can use these. They're great for caramelizing. They're great for cooking. This one here, you know, supposedly it's better to eat raw if you want to slice and put it on a hamburger. I'm fine with this one. If you want to eat a raw onion, this is the one you want to eat. This is a red onion. You know, a lot of times you'll see these in salads. A lot of times you'll see these on sandwiches. This is the onion that you want to go to if you want to eat it raw because it is a little less... It's a little less. It's healthier because it's red. And a lot of times foods that have a stronger, more distinct color have more nutritional value. If you're trying to eat a healthy vegetable, eat broccoli. Don't kid yourself. And the last onion is the white onion. And this is an onion I never buy. I never buy a white onion, except for if I'm going to do an onion video. Otherwise, I don't buy this because it's not any different than these other onions. I can use this here just like I'd use this onion. But this here, you know, a lot of times it's used in salsas, it's used in cold preparations or hot preparations. They're not the cheapest onion, and they're not any different than these other onions. They so are why strong. Would I pay more? They're good for a stew or a soup. They, they give you more of an oniony flavor. All these onions do that. I don't get the white onion. Because it'll stand up to the tomato in your salsa. Okay. White onion, don't buy it. <laughs> well, usually when you see onions, they're for sale. You know, in like three pound bags, five pound bags. You know, I'll often buy a bag of onions. I go through them pretty quick. But sometimes I'll buy onions individually. You know, like if I see them for sale, I'll just pick and choose and bag my own onions. Because I want to get different sizes. Because once you cut an onion, it gets stronger. So if you just use half an onion the next day, the other half might not be as friendly. So it's best to get the size of onion that you want to use. So buy them individually and get different ones. Get some big ones, get some small ones so that you can uh, use the size of onion you need for your preparation. I could talk about a shallot, but I'm too cheap to ever buy a shallot. You know, if you're gonna buy a shallot, if you're one of those people, then congratulations. Buy a yellow onion or a brown onion. Ignore all the other ones unless you're feeling fancy pants because this is the best deal and this is the best onion. Chef Buck El Cheapo. If you want to find out some more onion information, there will be a link down below to our website, myfoodchannel.com. Check out all our cooking videos over there. Thanks for watching and subscribing and clicking and doing the do and the do and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.